Silk, one of the most luxurious and softest materials in the world, has fascinated people for thousands of years. Few people know that to produce just one kilogram of silk, people need more than 2,500 silkworms, going through a long journey from caring for silkworms to harvesting delicate cocoons. So how can people from tiny silkworms create one of the most luxurious materials in the world? Let's explore the magical journey of raising silkworms, producing and turning cocoons into precious silk threads in this video. The silk industry has a history of thousands of years, and the majority of the world's silk production comes from China, which has a long tradition in this field. However, if you want to find high quality and artistic silk threads, silk enthusiasts often look to traditional craft villages in Thailand. In these villages, people have maintained the traditional silk weaving methods for generations, creating the soft and famous Thai silks that are famous all over the world. The first step in the silk production process is to raise the silkworms, thereby ensuring their growth and stable supply. Mature, healthy, and highly fertile females are selected for breeding. These females are placed in boxes or under controlled conditions to create the ideal environment for egg laying. The eggs are placed on suitable surfaces such as paper or mulberry leaves, which are the main food of silkworms. During this process, the temperature and humidity conditions are carefully adjusted to ensure successful hatching. After incubation in a special environment, the eggs hatch and tiny silkworm larvae emerge. As larvae, these tiny silkworms begin a journey of continuous development. They are raised in boxes or trays and provided with fresh mulberry leaves every day. In order to grow, silkworms need to eat large amounts of mulberry leaves. The silkworm rearing team must pay attention to maintaining the temperature, humidity, and ventilation conditions to ensure the best health for the silkworms. This work requires meticulousness and constant care, as even the slightest change can affect the silkworm's development. Each silkworm can grow up to 10,000 times its size during this stage. And to achieve this, they must consume a significant amount of food. Mulberry farms harvest more than two tons of mulberry leaves every week, which are chopped and prepared for the silkworms to easily eat. It is important that the leaves are fresh, as silkworms only eat freshly harvested leaves, and any dry or damaged leaves are discarded to ensure optimal nutrition. The silkworm boxes or trays are also cleaned regularly to remove feces and dry leaf debris, creating a clean and safe environment that helps prevent disease or infection. After a period of continuous feeding, the silkworm enters a new stage, cocooning. This is an important step in the silk production process. After about 40 days of continuous feeding, the silkworm has reached the desired size and mass, ready for a special job, creating a protective cocoon as it prepares to transform into a butterfly. When ready to create a cocoon, the silkworm secretes a special fluid through a silk gland on its head. This silk fluid quickly solidifies when exposed to air, forming long threads that wrap around the silkworm's body. This process lasts about three to four days, during which the silkworm continuously spins silk to complete the protective cocoon. Each thread can be hundreds of meters long, and when the cocoon is complete, the silkworm rests inside the soft silk cocoon 
preparing for its transformation into a butterfly. This is an important stage because the cocoon is the source of the fine silk threads that will be used to weave silk later. Once the silkworm has finished creating its cocoon, the producer begins the harvesting process. Cocoon harvesting requires care, as otherwise the silk fibers are vulnerable. Workers inspect and select the best cocoons, which are uniform in size and intact. To prevent the larvae inside the cocoons from hatching and breaking the silk fibers, the cocoons are heat treated. This process also makes it easier to untangle and separate the fibers. Several fibers from several cocoons are then combined to form a silk thread that is strong enough for further processing and weaving. After treatment, the cocoons are soaked in hot water to soften the saracen, a protein that binds the silk fibers. Once this protein is softened, the silk fibers are easily separated and washed to remove impurities. This process must be done with great care, as the silk fibers are very fragile when wet. To color the silk, workers dye the silk in natural or chemical dye baths, depending on the desired color. The dyeing must be done carefully to ensure uniformity of color throughout the entire silk thread. After dyeing, the silk is wound in preparation for the next stage of spinning. The silk threads are twisted and joined together to form strong and continuous threads, which facilitate the weaving process. Once the silk threads are finished, they are fed into looms to begin the process of transforming them into silk fabric. Silk weaving requires delicacy, high concentration, and skillful skills from the weaver. Each silk thread is meticulously and tightly interwoven to create a soft, light fabric with intricate patterns. Modern factories use automated machines to speed up the process, being able to produce large volumes of silk in just a few hours. However, whether on an industrial scale or by hand, the silk weaving process still retains the traditional principles. Once the weaving process is complete, the silk fabrics are sorted and finished, ready for marketing and distribution. Silk products are extremely diverse, from high-end fashion clothing to curtains, scarves, and ties. The silks have been meticulously woven and thoroughly inspected before reaching consumers ready to bring luxury in class. And it is an elaborate journey from the tiny silkworms to the luxurious silk material we love. Each step of nurturing, harvesting, and processing is done with care and sophistication, creating a unique fabric that not only has beauty, but also a cultural heritage over thousands of years. Thank you for joining us on this discovery. If you love this video, please like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch and see you in the next videos.